Sweet Green Salads. They just announced they're shrinking their headquarters and they're moving into a smaller building. Sounds like an HR move. It's actually a fundamental issue with their salad business. All right, Jack, talk to me. When you want to stick your face into a bowl of root vegetables, what do you do? Where do you go? Sweet Green Yetis. It is our preferred bowl of plants. Yeah, our old New York City headquarters in meatpacking, they were like right down the street from the uh, sweet green. We ate there daily. Actually, you get back and the curried cauliflower smell was on the microphone. It doesn't wash off easy. It doesn't. So it was fitting when Sweet Green IPO'd last year. Nick and I were excited to cover it, but the stock is down 68% since their November IPO. All right, they just announced they opened eight new salad restaurants in the past quarter. Revenue is up 45%. We love reading Sweet Green's earnings reports. But then the CEO said this. Uh, starting on Memorial Day, we began to see some softness. We're lowering our 2022 sales expectations. But here's where things got ironic. <laughs> yeah, they did. Sweet Green also announced they're moving out of their headquarters building and moving into a smaller building. Okay, we repeat, Sweet Green doesn't need as big an office anymore. Apparently. And that is a signal of a huge problem for Sweet Green. And here's why it's so ironic that Sweet Green is downsizing their core office. Sweet Green depends on big office buildings because they sell lunch to office workers. Jack and I jumped into their old IPO paperwork. They said the word office 11 times. That's more than they said the word salad. Sweet Green's core customer is a guy named Office Oliver. Office Oliver. He wants a healthy harvest bowl extremely fast so he can get back to his desk in Midtown and crunch some more numbers. But Yetis, here's the problem. Sweet Green is not the only one with fewer people in the office and needing smaller offices. This is the strange phenomenon right now. While people are back in the cities, fewer people are back at the office in their cities. We know people are back in the cities because of yesterday's story. Right. In New York City, only 1.9% of apartments are vacant. If you want to go to New York and get an apartment, you're not going to get one. Like, good luck. But for offices, you could get one. You could. Office vacancy is 10 times higher than apartment vacancy in New York City. What was that stat we noticed in the Cushman, Cushman and Wakefield? Wakefield? They reported that New York City office real estate is 22% vacant as of the second quarter of this year. All right. So, Jack, if Office Oliver is enjoying his apartment in New York City, but only hits his office three days a week, then that is a 40% drop in in the number of chicken pesto orders he makes at Sweetgreen. So Jack, hold the bread. What's the takeaway for our buddies over at Sweetgreen? You can't keep serving the same salad, literally. Yeah, it is. Honestly, Sweetgreen, they've perfected the office lunch business model. They really have. They really have. It's such a fine product. It is a fun product. They're so focused on office lunches that they do bulk delivery of salads to lobbies of huge office buildings where they know that sweet greeners work. But the data shows that their weekday lunch business may not come back 100%. Sweet Green doesn't seem prepared for the end of five-day weekday warriors. Sweet Green needs to pivot. That's the way Jack and I see this. For example, Sweet Green, you should be delivering pre-made salads to grocery stores. That would be Sweet Green for suburb salad. Or Sweet Green could start bottling their secret salad dress. Then you could have Sweet Green for dinner. Or Sweet Green could launch an entirely new bar concept out of the same location. Sweet Green for happy hour. It's time for Sweet Green to think outside the bowl, expand beyond office all of You our. can't keep serving the same salad. Literally. Thanks for T-boying with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for pop biz every day.